in the past few years, WMA players have made headlines about their pay. They made questionable statements and things that just doesn't really fit with reality. Well, recently there was a player named Kelsey Plum and she had to say this about shared revenue with the NBA. We are not asking to get paid what the menu is. We're asking to get paid the same percentage of revenue shared. Okay. You know what I'm got saying? It, got got it, got it. So that's a huge misconception. That's a huge misconception. Yeah. Got it. Okay, for sure. Yeah, because every video is like, oh, this person gets paid this, this, this no. person gets yeah. paid that, right? So I want to be really clear about that. Like, I don't think I, I should get paid the same as LeBron. Right. But the percentage of revenue, like, for example, they sell my jersey in Mandalay Bay. I don't get a dime. You don't get any money from jersey sales? That's crazy. The, in the NBA, um, they have percentages of revenue shared for the players, right? right. So jersey yeah. sales, obviously, their TV contracts. You see these every year, these contracts get bigger and bigger and bigger right yeah massive but but that's because their cba it negotiates where the you know if the owners are making certain types of money they get that as well got it. in the WNBA, that's not the case <laughs> as you can see there she really thinks the nba should share their revenue and it should be spread out equally with the WNBA. and my thought was you know revenue has to grow each year and unfortunately the WNBA has not done that in fact Adam Silver said back in 2018 that the WNBA has actually lost an average of $10 million per year since its existence. And it's been over 25 years since they've entered the league, since they've developed their league. Now, with that being said, I do agree with her statement about jerseys being sold. They should have some type of compensation for that. If the NBA is getting theirs, the women should get theirs. I'm okay with that. I'm not okay with you thinking, oh, you should, we should be sharing the revenue. We should be spreading that out to us when really you're not drawing the same views. You're not getting the same attention. It's not because you're a bad product. It's not because nobody wants to watch it. You're, just, you're not getting as much attention. So how do you fix that? Well, you take what you have now and you grow it organically. And if you can show the NBA that, hey, we're making revenue, then they might be able to help you out some more. But if you're always losing money every year, why would they invest in you? It's not going to work out. It's not going to be a win-win situation. And why are we complaining now? The CBA back in 2020, according to Sargo, as you can see here, they actually increased the cap. The players are going to be able to earn more than 500,000. Yeah, 500. Over 500,000 a year. That's over half a mil. And the average salary is over six figures a year. So you mean to tell me that you can't manage your money, that you can't take your money and double your income? Really? That kind of money? You just can't do it? So what are you doing now? Are you just wasting away on your favorite hair products? You know, are you wasting away on cars, on houses? Not to say those are bad things, but man, if you really believe in your league, then put your money where your mouth is. That's all I'm saying. And if you want it to get better, make it better. Because here's what the audience sees. They see this. One minute remaining. Rossi, no look feed inside to Dupree. What a pass. And they see this. Contact from Jermaine O'Neal got a piece of it. Oh, a facial. Yes, and a foul. So which one are you, do you think the fans are going to watch? Hmm. I wonder who. It's more entertaining. It's more fun. It's exciting. Not to say the women aren't exciting. It's just not as interesting as NBA players, they're dunking, there's highlight reels, there's amazing things going on. There's a lot of fundamentals in the WNBA, which is great, and I believe they're very talented, but they're not getting the same type of attention because the NBA is more marketable. This is how it works. If you have a market for something, you can spread your message. If you don't have a market, guess what? No one's going to pay attention to you. This is how it works in the economy. This is how it works in society. If you don't like it, don't look for handouts. Don't say, oh, you know, all that money you guys made, we should have it too. No, it's not how it works. You didn't make the same revenue. You didn't draw in the fans or draw in the viewership. You didn't, you didn't make that. The players did from the NBA. I know that it's hard to receive, but hey, just do better. And, you know, when I see this inside, it just drives me crazy, especially as a man. You know, you really have to watch yourself with women these days because, you already know, as men, we have to really just be careful with the, the feminist movement and, you know, thinking that men are just evil and they're just out to destroy everything. And that's not true at all. We just have to make sure we continue to stand by what we believe, follow our convictions. And if you don't like it, cool, that's fine. 
but we always have to stand strong. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you comment and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.